Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this makeup look. This is sort of like my glammed up natural look, if you will. I don't really know how to explain it, but I just like doing this look on nights where I want to look a little bit extra or if I have like an event to go to. I've just been really into like toning down my looks, but this is just like a subdued glam look that I thought would be perfect for the holidays. I personally would wear this um, you know, to a holiday party if I was wearing like a sequin dress or like something a little bit more statement-y, this sort of tones down the look, if you know what I mean. Before we get into the look, don't forget to come follow me on my social media. Also subscribe to this channel for every time I upload. I've been uploading a lot more, including these holiday vlogs, if you will. Um, it's not vlogmas because I feel like that's a huge commitment but I am posting a lot more vlogs which I'm totally enjoying so so much and I feel like you guys are enjoying them as well check those out if you haven't seen them if you want to see like a little a little peek into my everyday life with my daughter my crazy life at home if you guys want to see how to get this makeup look then just keep watching so I already have my face moisturized and cleansed I have my eye cream I'm gonna start off with the Laura Mercier Hydrating primer right here. We have dry skin. This is an incredible primer to use. Um, I used to be a big fan of the Smashbox one that's kind of milky looking, but this one feels so good. It's very smooth. Like you could feel it have like some sort of smoothing effect. To me, I love layering primers. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm also gonna use this Becca. I think I have to get a new one because I've had this forever. This is the backlight priming filter. Probably should get a new one. Oh my god. It just spit out all over me. I think this is done. It still smells fine. Alright, well, we'll just try it. <laughs> Also going to take a little bit of the dew drops and kind of focus it on a certain area. The dew drops are super pigmented. I should probably take a brush. Taking this hourglass foundation brush and just putting this here, here, chin, and like cheekbones. I think I'm going to do my eyebrows really quick off camera. So I'm going to take the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation a little bit on my hand. don't know if this is my color right now. It seems a little darker, but it might work. And then I'm just going to put a drop of the Marc Jacobs in there. Melt this all in. Just to blend that into the skin more. Kind of shears it out, honestly, if you do this. Doesn't make you look cakey. I'm gonna take this. I've been loving this again. I need to find a concealer with this consistency. Um, I wanna try the new Charlotte Tilbury concealer. And it's like the simplicity of just a brush. Um, and this stuff is really great too because you can blend it in with your fingers and it just melts into the skin. But I just like the shade of this as well. This is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream Eyes. I don't know if they make this anymore. I think they might sell it in like one place. We're gonna use this one because this one's a little bit more cool tone. This is the Makeup Forever one. You guys have seen me use this a million times in my beauty videos. And I got a question about this brush. This is the MAC 130 brush. Just trying to make this a little bit more natural. Um, what I've noticed in pictures is that Whenever I do my bronzer, it looks like a streak, and so I'm trying to make it look more like flush than like a streak. See how it does that? I hate that. I don't know. I need a makeup artist to help me. I really don't know how to do this. I just found this Bobbi Brown Powder Pink um, Cream Bronzer. It's a little bit more magenta-y. I thought it would be nice, but I'm just going to use a little just to... Add a little flush. I don't use too much because I like to go for that like natural flush, but everyone knows that we're all just catfishing everyone with makeup. Highlight! And I'm gonna use my tried and true Hey Honey. And I've just gotta warm it up first. That's the key when I use this is um, warming it up on the back of my hand and just taking my finger. 
and just highlighting. I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eyes. This product you don't ever need to set, the uh, BB cream eyes, but I'm gonna set for the sake because I'm gonna do a little bit of, of shadow. I'm gonna take the Hourglass Veil setting powder. If you guys want like a flawless look, use this. I'm gonna use a little bit of this actually. Let's take the Chocolate Soleil Too Faced Bronzer, and this is just gonna be the start transition color. I'm gonna use the Bad Habit. I've been really into Bad Habit. You guys saw me unbox this in my unboxing PR. And look how pretty these are. It looks like the Huda Beauty palette, so I wanna try it out. I think I'm gonna use, oh God, this one right here. This is called Admire. I'm just gonna deepen this up a little. This is pretty. This is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow Foil. Super, super pigmented. I like barely touched this thing. You know what, guys? I think I might get this color from my sister because she loves like a pretty glitter on the eye. It's a really good color. It like blends really well too. See how it's like fading into the transition? I just said I wasn't gonna do anything crazy and now I have glitter. <laughs> Let me know if it annoys you guys if my videos are so long sometimes because it really irritates me whenever I'm editing. I'm like, God, I just talk so much. How annoying. Like these people, like I feel so bad. So I'm always trying to like not talk as much, but it's hard. Oh my God. Guys, I didn't even put mascara on. Take the Man Eater Mascara by Tarte. I love using this before I put false lashes because it's such a soft, wispy base and it just blends. Okay, so I got that one on. Presto. Okay, I'm coming together. I'm coming back to life. Just kind of tie it all together. I think it looks good. I'm gonna take the bronzer by Too Faced, the Soleil. I just like how cool toned it is. I will forever love this bronzer just because it smells delicious. I'm gonna take the Smashbox, or sorry, the Bare Minerals Gen Beauty Powder Blush in Let's Go Nude. It's really similar to the color that was the Bobbi Brown one. I'm gonna blend this out. Oh my god, that was too much. All right, so I'm gonna take my per usual um, highlight. This is a Smashbox highlighter. These are gorgeous. I get tons of questions on like Instagram what I wear, and but I layer, so I'm all about the layering. I layer primers, I layer products, so it's just knowing what looks best on your on your face. Just find like good products and just stick to them. Take the strobing powder by Hourglass. This is the Brilliant Strobe Light. So it's like super icy, right? You'd be like, oh, girl, that does not look like your color. But you just take a little and you just pop it right at the high point. So I just put it right here. You know, just. That. This. 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 And I take a bit of the Gold Deposit by MAC and I just add a little bit to as like a blush topper. It's really pretty. Can't forget, you have to use this um, right before you spray just to set everything. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Used it forever, still going. But I use it sparingly and this is like this shade too so it's a bit of a highlighting shade for me. Um, but this is gorgeous. So I'm gonna spray my face. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs O Coco. And I'm just going to wind my lips first. The Fenty Beauty Unbutton 
Stunna Lip Paints. It's a really pretty nude. Super pigmented. I just like take off a little bit and start dabbing it like that. Uh, see how much, how pigmented that is? This is the Pixie and Chloe Morello lip icing. And there we go. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the description box for products linked down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also come follow me on my social media. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!